Hi everybody, welcome to a Crochet Extras tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a knit, a knitting effect in crochet. Now one of the most um, popular things at the moment um, is people wanting to create the effect of knitting but using a crochet hook instead. And as you can see here, we've got the traditional sort of V shape that you get in knitting, but this is done in crochet. And this method is not to knit in crochet because I've done a video tutorial on how to create the knit stitch doing Tunisian crochet. I'll put a photo over the top so you can see what that looks like. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description to that tutorial as well. Um, but in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to do uh, the, I suppose the half double crochet uh, knit stitch effect which basically just uses a normal crochet hook and yarn and it creates this knit effect here. Now the, um, it was previously believed that you could only work this in the round such as here working round and round and round because of the way you want the, um, the little V's to face going in one direction. Now this is the, an example of it done in the round as you can see here. Um, and this, obviously, if you were going in rows, you would want to keep this V-shape going in this direction. And it was previously believed, I think, that uh, you couldn't go back in the opposite direction, so you couldn't work it in rows. Well, I don't like, I don't like to believe that nothing is possible. I will try anything. So this method here, I have developed to work in the rows, so you can go backwards and forwards. And it's slightly different. Um, the only difference is that you get, as you can see here, when you work, if you're working in the rows, so you were going round like this, row upon row, you would have the V's facing in the right direction and they would be fairly close together. You can see almost touching each other. Now for this method, if you want to work back in the opposite direction, the V's are still in the right direction, but there's a very slight gap in between. So if you don't mind the very slight gap in between your V's, as I call it, in between these knit stitch effects, then this is a great way to create a knitting effect um, in crochet, in rows. So how to do this? Well, what we're going to do is, I just started off with some simple chains and then worked some half double crochet. And when you're working back in the opposite direction, get my hook on. Okay, so I've got to the end of this row. And what I do is I'm just going to do a little chain one, I'm not going to count that as a stitch, and then I'm just going to turn and I'm going to start working straight into this first stitch. Now the reason you have to use the half double crochet is because that stitch gets you this, what I call a double V effect, uh, which means that you get the V, which is going to be our knitting pattern V, which facing the point is on the right. And then if you just turn that over, you can see there's another V made up of the top V there becomes the bottom and the point of the V is on the left so it's going in the opposite direction. And the half double crochet gives you that effect, the double V as it were. And what I do is, other tutorials on this method tend to work into different areas but this what I do, I'm going to yarn over because we're doing half double crochet, is you want to find, you want to leave this with the point on the right V, you want to leave that so it's always at the front because it's going to be our pattern. So find the second V where the point's on the left and find this back loop there. Okay, this back one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook down the middle of that V and we're going to hook it under that back piece of yarn. And I'd like to apologise for all the injuries on my hand at the moment. <laughs> I've got really, really sore hands from doing gardening, which is a really bad idea when you try and do crochet videos. But anyway, we put our hook under that back bit of yarn, then we bring the yarn through and we just do a normal half double crochet, like so. And we continue that all the way across, just finding, leaving that V with the points on the right alone, so that's at the front. Find this second V where the points on the left. Find that back loop, yarn over, yarn over, find that back loop. Go down the centre of that V, find that back loop only, just the back loop, and do a half double crochet as normal. Pull through all three. 
And as you can see, that pushes, keeps this V with the points on the right free at the front. I can do that all the way across. And this would be the direction if you're working in the round that you would go in round and around and around going from this is the front of your project it would be right to left but we're going to do a little something different because I prefer to work under this back back loop as I call it <laughs> on this top V it's much easier working into this part of the stitch because it means you can keep your stitch count a lot easier it's much less com complicated than working into different parts of the stitch on the back, such as vertical bars and as you may see in other tutorials. So when we get to the end, it's like the same. Moving on to the right bit there. Okay, when we get to the end, you can see that these V's here have been kept to the front, creating our nice knit stitch. And now what we want to do is to do the same for these V's here. And it's the same thing again. You've got these V's here with the points on the right we want to leave alone. And above those are the ones, the V's, with the points on the left. So we chain one and turn. This time, because this is the back of our project where we can't see our knit stitch, we are going to find the, okay, what you need to do is find the first V, which is on top there. There's our first V, and that's the one we want to leave alone, okay? And then you want to find this other V that's further down, and there's our back loop. We need to do it at the very, at the front front, as I call it now, the front front loop. <laughs> so we do a half double crochet into our front front loop, and we do that all the way across the very front loop of the very front V now in the opposite direction. So do all this all the way across. And if I do a few, you can see okay, you can see that that has allowed to keep those V's clear at the front to carry on our knit stitch. Okay, so there's our, there's our new half double crochets and by putting them into that front front loop as it were we've kept those free at the front for our knit stitch pattern. And we just carry on finding that front front loop just going under that. This is why you need the half double crochet because the single crochet wouldn't have this double V effect. one and chain one don't count that as stitch and turn and then we can see we've created we've left that free at the front there was the one we did the very first off and there's our second one and you see they're closer together but there's a slight gap in between so you've got like two sets almost like so and now we need to start working into the back back loop so now we're going back in the opposite direction we don't work into the front front we need to make sure we're working in the back back because we want to make sure we're keeping this knit stitch to the front uh, okay so there we go there's our front V the first V and then find your second V and find that back back loop so first second third loop go onto that third loop and do half double crochets across and it's as simple as that as easy as that and it allows you to work in rows so you can adapt this for flatter projects whereas the other method that I've seen only allows you to work in the round which is only good for like hats and bags and things but this is much more uh, versatile, that's the word I'm looking for. 
So there we go. So you just carry on doing the same method. So when you're working, when you've got the right side, as I call it, your pattern side facing you, you want to work into the back back loop. And then when you've got the wrong side facing you, which we will in a minute, let's just see the wrong side facing you, chain one turn. When you've got the wrong side facing you, you want to work into the front front loop. So let's find our first V. There's our first V, and we need to make sure you find that second V. So one, two, three, that third loop this becomes our front front loop which is our back back loop in the other direction. So you're always working into the same loop of the two V's. Okay, so there we go. And there we've created our next row of knit stitch pattern. You can see there, it's been pushed, pushed forward. Okay, so we go. And the same method, uh, working in the round, exactly the same, you just work in, here I've been doing the increases, Doing the normal increases you would do in the round, so two stitches in each stitch around, and then as you've seen in some of my other patterns. But it's the same method. If you want to work a hat, you could follow one of my beanie patterns and do this technique instead, but it's just using the same pattern but just working into the back back loop. Because it would, when you're working in the round, because you're going, you're facing the same direction all the time, it would always be the back back loop always round and round and round and round and round okay and it's the same thing again you've got the two V's there's the first one and there's your second one and you would always if you're working in the round only be working into that back back loop and it would create this effect of knitting knitting style but I quite prefer it using working in the rows so there we go I hope you enjoyed that tutorial I hope that made sense and uh, I will see you soon for some more crochet fun have fun experimenting Bye. Well, just quickly at the end, and um, just for those who I know will ask what type of yarn and hook size I've been using, I was using quite a big hook um, because I wanted to demonstrate it quite clearly, uh, just a six millimeter J hook. And this yarn is actually um, a chunky, bulky weight yarn, so that's a yarn weight of five. And it's just um, a sort of wool mix. I don't know what brand it is, um, but it's just a wool mix, um, sort of almost like a homespun style, which is quite nice. But unfortunately, I don't know what make it is. Um, but there we go. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yes, the other thing I was going to say is the great thing about this technique using the half double crochet knit stitch over Tunisian crochet is that the Tunisian crochet tends to roll up like uh, knitting can do but this remains quite flat quite easily so this is quite a good alternative especially for those who don't have Tunisian hooks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.